It's mesmerizing. Almost hypnotic. It was an opportunity to kind of like quiet your mind, stay within this path that has one way in and one way out. Kind of like life in that it has its twists and turns and it might not be a path you expect or a path that you were thinking of following. Like its winding path, the Freedmanstown Labyrinth has a story you might not expect. For nearly 100 years, it was the site of the Mount Carmel Missionary Baptist Church. 10 years ago, the church collapsed. Forced to find a new home, the congregation still wanted to celebrate its longtime place of prayer. I work on large scale murals, so I wasn't afraid of size. In the footprint of the 10,000 square foot church, Reginald Adams designed a labyrinth using the bricks that remained to line its path. I remember working in the sun on weekends, moving gravel, laying down bricks, all of that. Ellis Owens, then in middle school, helped with design and construction as part of the group Sacred Sites Quest, a nonprofit service group focused on cultural, social, and creative awareness. It's really, it's really, it's really pretty awesome. When I saw how this labyrinth began to transform this community and the effect it was having on the young people that I was working with on, I was like, this needs to be a part of my work and it has been since then. On beaches, at retreats, in parks, using light or leaves, even donated food. Every labyrinth kind of serves its own unique purpose uh, based on the community and the people that it will serve. This one celebrates the legacy of the neighborhood and the church that once stood here. It's here until other forces say otherwise. Reporting in Houston, Brandy Smith, KHOU 11 News.